Former White House Press Secretary James Brady is remembered this morning as a gun victim who became a powerful advocate for tougher gun laws. President Ronald Reagan's one-time spokesman died Monday. He was 73 years old. Bill Plant was our White House correspondent during the Reagan years. Bill, good morning. Good morning, Nora. And Reagan uh, loved Brady. Brady was here only a couple of months. We all loved him. But he spent only a few months at this lectern briefing the press. But he is still very much a presence here in the White House briefing room. In fact, President Clinton named the room in his honor back in 2000. He was a rotund, gregarious Washington insider known as the Bear, possessed of a sharp wit, a love of politics, and a taste for good food and wine. But just 10 weeks after starting his dream job as Ronald Reagan's White House press secretary, Jim Brady took a bullet to the brain in the assassination attempt on the president. White House press secretary Jim Brady is, has also been taken to the hospital with a head wound. Jim Brady's condition said to be unknown. His wounds were so severe, staff members on the scene assumed the worst. National Security Advisor Richard Allen recorded the scene in the White House Situation Room. We better just have a moment of prayer and silence for Jim Brady. He died. After nine months and many surgeries, Brady left the hospital, flashing his signature thumbs up, determined to walk the rocky road towards recovery. How would you say that you're doing? How are you coming along? I think from an ambulatory standpoint, I'm coming along fine. Uh, Mike Keene and I can get just about anywhere. The tragedy turned Brady and his wife Sarah into advocates for gun control. They lobbied hard for a federal background check and waiting period for gun purchases. And in 1991, even Ronald Reagan, who had always been an opponent of gun control laws, supported the effort. I support the Brady Bill, and I urge the Congress to enact it. President Clinton signed the Brady Handgun Violence Protection Act into law in late 1993, with Jim Brady at his side, and three years later awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And through it all, Brady never lost his wit. We spoke in 2006. But you still... Are bitter or no? Well, it's not classy to be bitter. And I try to be classy, as you know. Well, boy, did he stay classy. He lived with courage and resignation with that hand that he was dealt for 33 years. Nora? You Bill, know, it's hard you. to say it any better than Bill said, but he was a great guy. A great guy. And, um, of course, as he mentioned, the press room named after James yeah. Brady. And... Uh, seen him there in the press briefing before when he became a strong advocate yes. for gun control. And I interviewed him many years uh, after that, always about gun control, but always that spirit that, that had defined him. Indeed.